So while studying chemical reaction engineering, you might have noticed this symbol epsilon. You might have noticed this symbol to denote fractional change in volume. This is mostly encountered while dealing with gas phase reaction. So in this video, what I will do is I will show how you can calculate this epsilon. So first, let me write what this epsilon is. So epsilon equals to fractional change in the volume of the system between no conversion and complete conversion of the reactant. So to start with first we will start with an easy equation consider a giving consider a giving 2b. So what will be the fractional change in the volume of the system that is epsilon to so calculate epsilon it is easy in this case. So epsilon equals to simply 2 minus 1 divided by 1. So it is equal to 1. So this is a simple case. Now next what we will discuss is consider it is given it is given something like this 4a 4a gives b so suppose this is the reaction so in this case what will be the epsilon so epsilon equals to simply 1 minus 4 divided by 4 it will be minus 3 by 4 it will be minus 3 by 4 in this case so this is how we can calculate the epsilon for these simple cases so in both these cases one assumption is very important that is the feed contents only pure a feed contents feed contents pure a pure a only in this case only in this case we can easily calculate by simply doing it like this but what if the question is like so in this case it is asked the feed is a mixture of 50 percent a and 50 percent inerts the reaction is given as a giving 4b and obviously it is a gas phase reaction it is a gas phase reaction so how will we calculate the epsilon in this case so in this case i recommend you make a table like this we have the table like this so the first column i will name this a this will be a this will be i which is the inert and next will be b b is the product in this case so a is the reactant i is the inert and b is the product so first first what i will do is so let me divide this like this so in this case in this first row what i will write is volume when the conversion is zero volume when the conversion is zero and in the second row what i will write is volume when the conversion is full which is 100 percent so these are the two columns that i these are the two rows that i will have so under a that is the reactant we will assume that we will assume that uh, v naught v naught is the initial volume of the mixture initial feed mixture so initial feed mixture volume so let me write it total feed mixture mixture volume so total initial feed mixture volume is v naught so 50 percent of this v naught is a so this will be 0.5 v naught this will be 0.5 v naught and also 50 percent of this is inerts so this will be again 0.5 v naught and initially when the conversion is zero then there will be no b so this will be zero so if i sum if i take the summation this will be v naught so this is the initial volume it is v naught this this i am getting by taking the summation of all these three so next is the volume at 100 percent conversion so when 100 percent conversion occurs all the a will be converted into b so this will become zero and what will be b b will be four times of what was a so 4 into 0 0.5 v0 is what will be b so this is nothing but 2 v0 this i have calculated by considering a giving 4 b this is by stoichiometry because from one mole of a i get four moles of b so similarly here i have the volume as 0 0.5 v0 so how so if 0 0.5 v0 volume of a if after total conversion the a will become zero the volume of a will become zero and it will get converted totally into b but how much volume of b will be formed it will be two times v naught because 0 0.5 v naught into 4 will give 2 v naught and this e naught will remain same because they are passive they won't react so 0 0.5 v zero now if i take the summation of this case 0 plus 0 0.5 plus 2 what i get i get 2.5 v zero so this is what i have this is the initial volume let me write it over here initial volume and this is the final volume this is the final volume so what is epsilon epsilon is this epsilon equal to in this case we have to use the definition fractional change in volume of the system between no conversion and complete conversion of the reactant so epsilon equals to volume at 100 percent conversion minus volume at zero percent conversion divided by the volume at zero percent conversion so what does this become volume at 100 percent conversion is 2.5 v0 
so 2.5 v0 minus what is the volume at 0 percent conversion it is only v0 so minus v0 divided by again the volume at 0 percent conversion which is v0 so this becomes 1.5 v0 divided by v0 so this gets cancelled and what is epsilon epsilon equals to 1.5 so the fractional change in volume of the system for this case is 1.5 so this is how we do it so let's solve another problem this one will be the last one the question says a gas phase reaction a giving 5 b is taking place in a constant pressure reactor find the fraction of inerts in the feed so that the volume at 100 percent conversion does not exceed three times the initial volume so again we will uh, make a table to do this so this is the table that we will use so first uh, this will be a that is the reactant this will be i which is the inerts and b is the product so initially initially let us assume let us assume that x is the let us assume that x is the fraction of inerts in the feed x is the fraction of inerts fraction of inerts fraction of inerts in the feed inerts in feed so this we have assumed so now also another thing that we will assume is the initial volume of the mixture the initial 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 feed volume initial feed volume let this be equal to v0 let this be equal to v0 so here we will write volume at x equal to 0 that is volume when the conversion is 0 and here volume when the conversion is 100 so this both we will first find out so what we have assumed is that x is the fraction of inerts in the feed so x times v0 is what the inerts will be because x is the fraction of inerts in the feed and the total feed volume is v0 so i will be inerts will be x times v0 so in the feed we know that b will be 0 in the feed b will be 0 that is no product is there in the feed it is only the inerts and the reactant a that is present in the feed so if b is 0 and uh, inerts is x times v0 then what will be a a is simply 1 minus x 1 minus x times v0 this is simple because x is the fraction of inerts in the feed and rest is a so what will be a a will be simply 1 minus x so 1 minus x times v0 is the uh, fraction of a which is in the feed volume of a in the feed so what is the total volume if i take a sum the sum will give me v0 the sum will simply be v0 now in the second case when the conversion is full then a will become zero there will be no a present because entire a will be converted into b when the conversion is 100 percent so what will be the b present here b will be five times of that of a so it will simply be five one minus x times v naught this will what will be over here and inerts will be same it will be x times v v naught because inerts do not take part in the reaction so what is the sum in this case now the sum in this case will be x v naught x v naught plus 5 v naught minus 5 x v naught this is the sum so if i do this what will i get i will simply get 5 v naught minus 4 x v naught so this is the final volume when the conversion is full that is v at 100 this is the conversion at uh, this is the volume at 100 percent conversion and this is the volume at zero percent conversion so what is epsilon epsilon is epsilon is volume at 100 percent conversion minus volume at zero divided by volume at zero percent conversion so what is this this will be simply equal to uh, 5 v naught na minus 4 x v naught minus what is the volume at zero percent conversion it is also v naught so over here minus v naught divided by v naught because volume at zero percent conversion is v naught so this is what i get if i simplify this what will i obtain if i simplify this i will obtain 4 v naught minus 4 x v naught divided by v naught this can be further written as 4 minus 4 x this is what i obtain because this v naught v naught will get cancelled out now notice one thing which is given in the question it is said that find the fraction of inerts in the feed so that the volume at 100 percent conversion does not exceed three times the initial volume so what is said is volume at 100 percent conversion does not exceed volume at 100 percent conversion will be less than or equals to 
थ्री परसेंट वॉल्यूम एट जीरो परसेंट कन्वार्सन दिस इज व्हाट इज सेड ओवर हियर दैट द वॉल्यूम एट हंड्रेड परसेंट कन्वार्सन डज नॉट एक्सीड थ्री टाइम्स द इनिशियल वॉल्यूम सो द वॉल्यूम एट हंड्रेड परसेंट कन्वार्सन विल बी लेस देन और इक्वल टू थ्री टाइम्स द वॉल्यूम एट जीरो परसेंट कन्वार्सन सो फ्रॉम दिस आई कैन ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट एफ साइल ऑन बिकॉज इट इज वी एट हंड्रेड परसेंट कन्वार्सन माइनस वी एट जीरो परसेंट डिवाइडेड बाई वी एट जीरो परसेंट सो दिस आई कैन राइट थ्री वी जीरो वी थ्री टाइम्स वॉल्यूम एट जीरो परसेंट कन्वार्सन माइनस वॉल्यूम एट जीरो परसेंट कन्वार्सन डिवाइडेड बाई वॉल्यूम एट जीरो परसेंट कन्वार्सन बिकॉज आई कैन सिम्पली पुट दिस ओवर हियर बिकॉज दिस इज लेस देन एंड इक्वल टू सो वॉट आई गेट ओवर हियर इज टू सो एफ साइल ऑन इज टू सो नाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेट दैट एफ साइल ऑन इज फोर माइनस फोर एक्स एंड हियर वी गेट एफ साइल ऑन इज टू सो एफ साइल ऑन इक्वल्स टू टू विच इज इक्वल्स टू फोर माइनस फोर एक्स सो वॉट इज एक्स x is simply x will be simply 4 minus 2 divided by 4 which is equals to 2 by 4 which is half so the fraction of inerts the fraction of inerts fraction of inerts in the feet fraction of inerts in the feet fraction of inerts in the feet is equal to half which is equal to 50% so 50% of inerts was in the feet and 50% was a so in this video we have solved two problems we have solved two problems and we have seen what this fractional change in volume means while we solve problems in chemical reaction engineering thank you